Okay boys, so I am back. Um, welcome to another video. This is a Friday vid. Been staying a little consistent on these videos and it's been bangers like all I gotta worry about is God, videos, school. I got all A's in there, so I'm pretty cool. I'm chilling. But the main thing you gotta worry about is God right here. Like I was saying, well, it's hard for y'all to see me because I don't got light. But not like I was saying. But I got a new, uh, I got a wider angle on this for the new lens. And then I got a, a black premist 1 8 But you really can't see the filter on here because it's not that light out here. But like I was saying, what you really need right here is this, the Bible. You need the Bible because um, none of this will help you uh, get into heaven. And nothing else besides Jesus and God and the Bible and everything to go with that will get you into heaven and make you externally, externally happy. This will get you into heaven. Any of that working out, um, freaking the steak, the chicken, the rice, all the eating, the diets, it won't give you happiness. It might give you temporary happiness, but um, it won't be external. And that's why I said eternal, not external, internal happiness. Nothing else will give you eternal happiness except the Word of God. And y'all need to understand that. And... That's what I'm teaching now. I'm teaching it every single video now. Like, I was about to edit a video, noticed that I didn't have a Bible verse or the Bible study in here. So guess what I'm doing? I'm about to do a Bible study right now. But let's um go here. Let's see where we're at. Let's go back a little bit. I'm trying to think of what verse I want to use. I normally have it on a verse. But Let's do, let's see here, let's do, we're on Ephesians 5, 1 through, it's just Ephesians 5, 1 through 5, 21, and we're going to read this, the, uh, my uh, Bible has like chapter names, and the chapter name for it is Walk in Love, so here we go. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, for, as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But sexual immorality and all impurity or covetousness must not even be named among you as it is pro proper among the saints. Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish, nor crude joking, which are out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving, for you may be sure of this, that everyone who is sexually immoral or impure, or is COVID, or, I don't know how to um, who is, I don't know how to say it, is COVIDness, or COVID, I don't know. It's complete, um, what's it called? It's said completely different, okay. It just means that they're an idler. Has no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partners with them. For at one time fruit of the light is found in all that is good and true. And try to discern what is pleasing the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of the darkness, but expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of the things that they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by light, it becomes visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, look carefully how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best of the time, because... The days are evil. We're going to end at uh, 5.16. So, this is telling... I need to learn a lot of verses in here. But the verse that I'm going to learn most... I learned about a good 15 verses that I can just name off the top of my head. But that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to do, like, learn a few verses a week. Because since I'm younger, it's easier for me to, like, comprehend and get things done. Or 
listen to things faster. But I need to learn Ephesians 5, 3 says, But sexual immorality and all impurity or covetousness must not be named among you as is improper with the saints. I need, the saints, among the saints. I need to learn 3 and 4. And 4 is about no foolish talker. Um, filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking. So, First Ephesians 5, 3 and 4. But, that's what it is. But, this is just laying out some basics for you. What of not to do if you want to inherit the kingdom of God. I'm sorry y'all can't really see me. It's like really dark. But, I don't have any light coming in from the front. So, I'm sorry about that. But, like I said, this is the only thing that will get you into heaven. I just dropped a bunch of papers. It's the only thing that will get you into heaven. What gets you into heaven is to believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and that He will come back and take us up. He might not come up before you die. You do not know when He's going to come back, but you do need to believe that He died on the cross for your sins. John 3.16 for God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, so whoever believeth in Him should not perish and have an everlasting life. And so if you believe in Him, you will have an everlasting life, a.k.a. go to heaven with Him. That's what I'm saying. That's None of this stuff that you're doing right now is everlasting. Like, none of it is everlasting. Like, going out partying, um, uh... Having sexual relationships, it's not, it's not gonna make you happy externally. I guess I keep saying the wrong thing. Making you happy eternally. So the only thing that can make you happy and give you peace eternally is the Word of Jesus, the Word of God, and Jesus Christ. But that was a pretty long Bible study. Thank you for watching everything. And I'm probably going to put this before the workout. So I will see y'all when I'm hitting the workout. Peace. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far. It's too scary. But you know something? I got news for you. That's where winning is. What I learned in the gym is you got to go out there and fail. you got to go out there and fall down. really what bodybuilding is all about. What results is going to take hard work for years. The same thing in life is the same thing here. If you can do this, you can do anything. Achieve failure. Achieve failure. If you can fail, you can also win. You know, when you think you're done, totally done, you have at least five, five more reps, okay? Congratulations, you achieved failure. Failure has been achieved, thank God.